Thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. I'm not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Mr. Wallace, 
I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Please, try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... That sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean... Thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. I don't want to talk about Blackbird. Carrington is sure to give me an earful about it. Ticonderoga was wiped out by coursers. No survivors. All hands lost? God damn it, that's not the news I want to hear. Now we're in a race. Can we free the synths before the Institute wipes us out? We've survived this far. We'll make it to the end. Here's hoping. With Tycon down, we're short-handed. If you could spare time from your primary mission, the others could probably use some help.
I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow this script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists, that we are among you. It is true, but it is not the whole truth. We're here, and we are. The future. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... pointless struggles. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... dire consequences. Rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands, and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended. But it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? What do you want with Diamond City? Nothing with the city itself. This is a bit of a shortcut, actually. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them, before we preempt their broadcasts. We need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. clearance granted how may I help you I'll take a look sure
Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Care about the battle between the Brotherhood and Institute? The one up Bunker Hill? A bunch of people got killed or something. Total bloodbath. 